Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Thea, The Awakening, by Muha Games, and we are the village of Aurelia. And so far, so good. My voice has not left me yet, so hooray. I'm doing a bit more recording. Let's see what we got here. We have 8 of 13 research, and 4 of 10 experiencia. And I was told in the comments that Morena is actually not a real Slavic goddess at all, but was rather added later on by the Hungarians, for reasons that I don't understand, but that's interesting to me. She still seems like a cool character, the goddess of death and rebirth. She looks pretty neat in the artwork, so I'm willing to go with it, but I'm sad that she doesn't apparently happen to be an actual Slavic goddess. What do we have up here? Some more wood? Eh. Now, I was told to focus my research into getting new resource types, and I, that, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I just wanted to be able to build basic blunt weapons for my away team, which hopefully will be ready for the next mission. It is time for the Night of the Goat, a feast in honor of reverence of the ancestors and forefathers, the so-called Dizoidi? Zoidi? I don't know, folks, but it sounds cool. Let's see. Let's begin. You set a table with food and drink, set bonfires in a circle, and begin festivities. But this night, the Zioti actually appear before you. One, an elder, bearded man, speaks with a heavy, coarse voice. You have done us proud, grandchildren. Now we shall cleanse you of any curses that you carry. And if your souls are ever burdened by the filth of dark magic, come to a city we once called home. Seek us out, and if you prove yourselves worthy, you may be cleansed once more. The Zioti all nod in agreement, and then disappear. Jeremiah Siska, you now have additional folklore skill, so you are now the official village storyteller. Wonderful! If we are ever cursed, we shall seek out this city. And there they are. So if we ever get cursed, we know where to go. And apparently it is nighttime, because I can't see a damn thing. Yep, it is daytime. No, I'm, I'm thinking it might not be daytime. I think that might be a mistake. Yeah, that, that might be a mistake. This is kind of rough. With all the smog floating around here, you'd think we were in Beijing. Oh, it's still smoggy? And apparently still daytime. Just wandering around blindly. It's a great way to be. Surely nothing bad can happen. Really? We can still go? Alright. I think we might just want to uh, wait till daylight comes again. In the meantime, we can gather some wild mushrooms. Carl was made to gather. Carl is a gathering fool. In fact, why is Carl on the away team again? He never should have come here. Definitely we did not want Carl. Oh well. It'll have to do. He will be assisted by Hannah, Kalia, Amara, and Artanis. <laughs> Carl's getting all the ladies. Alright, let's go. How long is this going to take? 14. One turn? Oh, we'll see. We'll just, I don't know what this means. Let's just go with it. How much did we get? We got 14 mushrooms. Not bad. Oh, you know what? I should go in and forbid the eating of bird meat. Ah, oh, whatever. Who cares? We shall break camp now that it is the light of day. Man, visibility in this place sucks. And it's still daytime. Alright, if you say so. Uh-oh. A pigeon flies to your village with a note attached to it. It reads, 
Dear residents of the lovely settlement, if you will, please visit my humble abode, placed not so far from your lovely home. It is very nice. I am a blacksmith of dwarven tradition, and I have an offering for you, kind people. Yes. There is a small map, drawn in strange purple glowing ink. Alright, it may be interesting and worth checking out. I believe I know this quest. He's going to ask me to, like, trade children to this woman thing. I think I might do the quest differently this time. I was told that there is a way you can trick the lady, get the children, get the dwarven guy what he wants at the same time, and, you know, life should be good and stuff. We honestly aren't really discovering much. This scouting party is not, not doing exceptionally well. Let's go talk to the dwarf. Hidden away in a quiet alcove, you discover a single house amongst ruins of some old town. There is smoke coming from the chimney and the sound of hammering inside. This is clearly a smithy. You notice an unusually large pile of rocks sitting by the house. Let us approach. As you approach, the hammering stops and a dwarf walks out to greet you. That's far enough, strangers. You do not want to anger Chale. She gets very jumpy, that one. The pile of rocks opens its eyes and stares at you. It's definitely a rock troll. Yeah, jackass, you invited us. Oh, yeah, your village, yeah. Well, truth be told, I move around. Me. And I don't like just any stranger coming to see me. Unless I want you to, you will not find your way here. Hence the invite. Well, if only people that you don't want... Wait, no. If people that you don't want can't find you, and we found you, then wouldn't it stand to reason that we are the ones that you wanted? And so why would your rock troll be making eyes at us? It doesn't... Ah, oh, whatever. And this brings me to why you did find me. I have a wee problem. And if you help, I will give you a full set of armor with some good weapons and all. You see, I got me a kind of, well, a female problem. <laughs> full set of armor and weapons? Whatever your problem, we're here to solve it. Ha, well, it's kind of embarrassing. You know, us fallen dwarves, that is the ones who stayed behind when the darkness came, we tend to be solitary types, at least when it comes to females. After all, no dwarven woman chose this sad fate, at least not one I know of. In any case, the story cuts short. There is a cute demon girl, the nice type, mind you, living nearby, and well, I tried impressing her with my smithing, but she doesn't like weapons. I tried sweet-talking, but turns out, it ain't my best feature. So if you go and convince her to go out with me, I will give you a prize. Alright, point me in her direction. This is a serious matter, mind you. She can get a bit nasty if you're not careful. And I've been trying for decades now. Anyway, I don't know how much you do know of them, water demons, but just try not to dance with her. And probably avoid going for a swim. And well, just be careful. She's a sneaky one. You want to date a demon? Hey, hold your horses, human. What's with the racism, eh? Just you wait till you see her, then tell me dating demons is off the menu. You know us dwarves, we have good heads for that enchantment shit. So I figure she ain't gonna bedazzle me or anything. <laughs> bedazzle. <laughs> what, is she going to decorate your uniform with fake plastic jewel-looking things? I doubt it. And you know, I think we'll get along just fine. Okay, cool. Here's a map. I marked roughly the spots where she hangs out, but I think she may be on the move with her sisters. So yeah, just watch out. Okay. There's the smithy. Oh, okay, there's the demon. Now we might want to wait on this one. We might want to wait till we have somebody with really good persuasive skills. Maybe till we gain a level or something. Because yeah, I'm going to try to screw everybody over here. I'm going to try to get the demon to date the dwarf without having to give her the children from the orcs and stiff. We are almost ready to gain a level. All right. And it is now daytime again. Let's go north this time. There we go. Finally, we found something that we can interact with. And another hive for what it's worth. 
Enemy spotted. Yes. I can see that. Oranges. Alright, first things first. Let's go here. And explore. Let us search. You search the buildings and discover supplies. More amber. More vegetables. And more topaz. Ooh, and we've gained a level, it appears. Alright. Let's fight him. We have two deformed bats, one ravenous crow, and two crazed bees. Again, I wish we had some blunt weapons. That would certainly be nice. Alright, good. We have Kalia and Lion in the same party. And we get to move first. Lion. Bring it. Okay, so the crow is a bit more dangerous than the bat. Let's counter tactic. Awesome, that bat was pretty tough. So he's gone. Now what do we have? We, ooh, we have a... Ooh, the bees are rough. Okay, rough bees. Rough bees. Let's get Kalia out there. And let's get her... She's not low enough level to be first action. That's really poor first action. Not many people are level one. We can shield the living heck out of her, though. Or... We could confuse the bee. Let's confuse the bee. Let's then shield Kalia and bring out Amara. Alright, go. Alright, crow gone. Bee gone. Bee number two gone. And bat gone. Nice. Good work, team. Good work. You've won the challenge, but we didn't get anything for it. Alright, let's take out the hive. And then we shall head back to town. Alright, excellent. Kalia has become stronger. Hannah has become healthier. Carl has become better at gathering. Lion has become a better tactician, Amara has become a lot stronger, and Artanis has become slightly better at gathering. In the village, Nazoth has become healthier, Mathis has become a lot stronger, Arcanus has gained folklore, and Jeremias has gained will. I wish those were switched, because Jeremias is already pretty good at folklore. Alright, let's take out the hive. One blood bee and four crazed bees. Let's do it. Alright, we definitely want Carl in the tactical hand, but wish we had Lion. But that's okay. We should be okay. We get the first move, and the first move is going to be... 16 plus 12 is 28. 24 plus 7 is more than 28. Kalia takes the lead. Okay. Grace B. He gets the jump on us. Not a problem. Carl, let's counter a tactic. Excellent. Four poison is not good news for anybody. Pierce attack. Pierce attack numero dos. That's okay though. Calia can handle it. Although, she's almost down to her own health now. But we can fix that. Because we can shield her some more. Excellent. Good job, lion. Alright, now we can throw out Hannah C. And we could either shield her or confuse one of the bees. Let's confuse the bee. He's pretty dangerous at 11 attack. That is pretty rough. And Artanis, I guess you'll pull up the rear and we're just going to hope for the best. Here we go. Excellent. Oh, man. No good. Kalia's gonna take some hits. Holy crap. Alright. 
Kalia is messed up. Hopefully she will survive. We do have a healer in the team, so it's possible, but man, she just got worked by those bees. All right, lion. And let's counter tactic. Yeah, whatever, Craze B. You don't frighten me. Amara's gonna go after you. We'll confuse you just for fun. We'll shield Amara. Get our Tannis in there just for some giggles. All right. Okay, well, we survived, but Kalia got beat up pretty badly. And for one piece of amber. All right, well. We are going to camp out. Ooh, what's this? We can gather stuff. What is this? Nuts. Nuts! Awesome. Carl, you know you want to gather nuts. Artanis, you can help. Lion, Hannah, and Amara. Kalia's going to sit this one out, hopefully heal. All right. Someone told me wicker was a good thing to start off because then you can forge better gathering baskets, which makes a lot of sense, actually. So let's get some wicker. All right. And, oh, we found some about a thousand miles away. Excellent. We've also found grain, leather. Ooh, there's a whole lot of good stuff here. Let's, um... Hey guys, let's break camp. Let's move here and let's camp out again. All right, so Carl, I want you to get leather. Artanis, you can continue getting nuts. Amara, grain. Kalia, grain. Lion, grain. And Hannah, you'll help with the nuts. Carl's good enough to do it on his own here. Even with all these people, it'll take seven turns. Well, we still need to heal. Okay, more bad guys. Alright, Amara, Hannah... Alright, so Kalia is now 10 of 15. She's slowly getting better. Let's wait one more turn. All right, what do we have here? Four crazed bees. Well, bees are a problem. Kalia is 14 of 15, okay. Let's head back to the village. Uh-oh, more bad guys. Man, how long will these kids grow up? All right. Let's see what we can do here. We need whatever this is. Wicker. Oh, we definitely don't want to be burning wicker. Is it inventory? There we go. Oh, good, good. We're not burning any of this stuff. That's excellent. All right. So, string, wicker, and wood. That'll give us a bonus of three to gathering. Let's see if we use leather instead. Still a bonus of three. All right, well, string it is then. And Nazoth. You the man now, dog. Craft tools, huh? We could use gold, wood, and wood. Gives a benefit of two to crafting. What if we use iron instead? Benefit of one. Confirm. Arcanus? You're in charge of that, buddy. All right.
And it is becoming nighttime, so probably good that we are heading back home. And we're being followed by the evil foul beast. So, nope, no, they're going away. Okay, right, so we've finished our crafting. We are not going to do much good until we get more wicker. There's some here. Or straw, I should say. That's pretty far away. And up here. I don't like it one bit. I don't like it one bit. Go to Aurelia. And let us join. Not enough resources. Oh, do they mean because... Oh, wait, they don't mean there weren't enough resources to craft when we wanted. They just mean there's not enough resources to craft more. I understand that. All right, Nazoth. Nazoth! We are going to... There you are. We are going to give you a hammer. And... Who is our best gatherer again? Wish it would show you, but we'll do it this way. Carl. Carl is by far our best gatherer. Carl, you should never come with us on the away team. That was a bad move on our part. But that's okay. It's alright, Carl. I don't blame you. I blame myself. And you are now super gatherer. Okay. So, before we end the episode, what are we going to be gathering? Carl? Do we need food more? I guess we do, yeah. Oh, cool, it puts the person who's best at it up top. Nice. Artanis will help you. As will Amara, Kalia, Lion, Hannah C over here, and Nazoth. That's everyone, right? It sure is. All right. That's one turn. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I guess next turn we'll have to create another away team and go after some straw, even though it's pretty far away from the village, and I feel weird about leaving the village mostly undefended. But we need straw before we can really do much of anything, so that's what we are going to have to do. Once again, I am Marcus Aurelius, and this is Thea the Awakening. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.